unlike other systems, the RxG is capable of exhibiting behaviors that even the manufacturer and I as the designer of the system have never predicted. So when you talk about the way other systems work, when we look at, for example, a typical IDS or IPS, what you will see is that the manufacturer has decided, well, if I see these few things happening, if I see this kind of behavior, then I as the manufacturer or I as the author or I as the architect to think that these are the things that are the most likely scenarios that you, that you will want to go ahead and try to uh, enforce these kinds of policies on the end user. In the RxG, it's completely different. In the RxG, rather than I as the architect defining what happens when something that the system detects is going on has happened, rather you as the operator can create that configuration. And that's done through our policy engine. And with our policy engine, what you'll see is that rather than going ahead and saying, oh, well, if I have detected BitTorrent, then I will block you. Or if I have detected BitTorrent, then I will do this thing that the manufacturer or I as the architect has defined. If I have detected BitTorrent or something like that in the RxG, what happens is that we are able to enforce any policy that, of the, that the RxG is able to exhibit. That includes things like the example before. And this is true of everything on the RxG. It's not just one thing that talks to several things. Everything talks to everything else. And that allows us to create policies that are unique, to create policies that are so extraordinary that even I, as the designer, never predicted would be possible. And that's what I, I'm going to show here. Here you can see a policy that I never even imagined would be possible, where somebody that uses the internet at a certain rate and exceeds a certain bandwidth consumption then gets put into a different policy where they're slowed down and have a different rate and a different kind of quota. And then when that is succeeded, it slows down again. And when that is exceeded, it slows down again. And different kinds of other things can apply when those triggers have been met. So at the first trigger, I might make you pay more. At the second trigger, I might increase your advertising. At the third trigger, I might say at this point, really, you know, you're, you've exceeded your free access and you need to go and resupply or you need to give me some more information. Anything that the RxG can do can be enforced at any point in this. And the fact that I can go ahead and create these kinds of things, which I as the designer never even imagined, that customers can go and operators can go and create these kinds of configurations that I as the uh, creator of the system never imagined, is what makes the RxG unique. And that's a way in which the concept that everything in the RxG talks to everything else is expressed. So when you talk about the RxG and what the RxG is, yes, it is the device that is the only device that you need in between the internet and the distribution network. And yes, we have compressed everything that is used to go ahead and run a revenue generating network into a set one device, but that's only the beginning of the story. The story moves on and what makes it truly unique is that all of those things that we've put together all of those things that we put into that one box can talk to one another. And the fact that they can talk to one another allows configurations to be created that are so special, so unique, and can cover any possible set of combinations, even things that I, as the designer, have never even predicted.